Hi everyone, so a lot of you have been asking me to do videos about my skincare routine and about my beauty routine and hair and makeup and that kind of thing and I always thought, uh, I mean, why would I do something like that? I mean, I'm not an expert on these things, but then I realized that I have had uh, quite an intense uh, skincare journey myself. I love skincare. I'm quite a nerd when it comes to skincare. I love all the science behind everything. I love really doing my research about products for both skincare and makeup because what I put on my face is, you know, it's really important um, to me. And I get to work with some of the best in the business thanks to my industry. I get to collaborate with some incredible brands and some incredible practitioners who are top of their field. Um, and I get to sit in some of the most amazing um, makeup artist chairs uh, in the entire industry. And trust me, that's one of the best places to uh, learn uh, skincare and hair and makeup tips ever and I never waste my time in the makeup chair. I always ask lots of questions and always really interested um, in what they are doing. So I thought I would, um, I would give this a try and I also think it's really important and it's something that I've been actually wanting to do for a long time is really share my skincare journey um, with you in hoping that even if it helps or resonates with one person, um, that would be amazing because if it wasn't for the many incredible people and especially women that came into my life at um, a time of really need and desperation for me, I wouldn't be able to be where I'm today. I wouldn't um, have the amazing skin that I have today and that I'm so grateful for um, because all these women came into my life and they were really willing to be open and raw and real and and share with me share their journeys which i learned from share their experiences um, and share as many tips as they possibly could so that's what i hope to do here in this space um, in this video i think i'm just going to share a bit about my skincare journey and then i'm going to break some videos up into two different segments so i'll do something about my favorite cleansers and then moisturizers serums eye care masks that kind of thing and then i'll do a separate makeup one if you guys want and a separate hair one uh, about how i keep these um, curls under control sometimes um but my skincare journey really started I would say about seven years ago, I, I've always been interested in taking care of my skin. I grew up with my, a mom who was um, very much into, uh, I grew up with a mom who was very much into um, skincare and taking care of herself. Uh, so she kind of passed that down onto me, but I had really bad skin growing up. I had really bad acne uh, with my Indian skin. I scarred really easily, so I had a lot of um, acne scars and pigmentation. Um, and I kind of got that under control, but I was still suffering with a lot of hormonal breakouts every now and again. Um, and then about seven years ago, I decided to go off the pill. I was on the pill for a really long time and I decided that I don't want any chemicals in my body anymore. And when I came off the pill, it obviously, um, this I discovered I had polycystic ovaries and all the symptoms started coming to the surface and that included weight gain. I mean, for a person who really, I was always a dancer and an athlete, never really had to worry about what I ate and what my body looked like. I always had, you know, was very fit and strong. Um, to all of a sudden be putting on weight and I didn't know where it was coming from and I was exercising more than ever and it you know, wasn't helping and my skin was really breaking out super badly and I was getting pigmentation for the first time in almost patches so it wasn't just like if I got a pimple it would leave a mark I was getting kind of patches like all around here my skin and I didn't know what to do um, and at that time already, I was experimenting with a lot of skincare, a lot of, you know, really off-the-counter brands that you would find at any uh, pharmacy, a clicks, a Dischem, that kind of thing. Um, even like the Clinique's, Elizabeth Arden, all of those products 
which I grew up with believing they were really, you know, high end, um, great skincare. And a lot of them are, but I think if you have really targeted concerns, they're not going to do the job that you needed to do. If you have kind of okay skin and, you know, you, you want to heal superficial things, I think that they're okay. But I think to really get to the heart of a problem, first of all, starts with diet. Um, that was the big game changer for me was that I um, went on a complete candida cleanse. I went to, um, you know, no carbs whatsoever to really rebalance my, my hormones. So for a whole year, I literally did not put something in my mouth that I did not make from scratch in my kitchen. And it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, but it was an incredibly eye-opening uh, journey for me because it really balanced out my hormones. Um, it got the weight under control. Um, it got the acne under control. And once you got that under control, I could really start taking care of my skin. And I found that my skin healed so much faster. I mean, even if I did get a mark, um, from a blemish, it would really heal about easily 10 times as fast as it would um, in the past. I went on to an all natural skincare routine to start off with just so I could rebalance my skin. And what I love about natural skincare is that it helps you, it helps to teach your skin to heal itself. So it's not constantly putting um, chemicals on your skin that are curing the problem with the chemicals. Um, and that's why you find a lot of products. I mean, I tried, I've tried everything. I've literally tried almost like 99% of the products and brands on the market. So I've always found a lot of them, they start off being amazing, but then your skin kind of gets used to those chemicals on them. So it stops having that much of that profound effect that you see when you first start using a product. But with natural skincare, it teaches your skin to, to heal itself and kind of fix itself and rewire those neurons that, you know, are, are naturally there for your skin to heal and rejuvenate itself. So I really love that. Um, and then moving on, once my skin was kind of balanced and, you know, under control, I started doing a lot of research and, you know, with aging, being in front of the camera, I wanted something that's going to give me that little bit extra. Um, so I discovered a lot of the really great powerful aesthetic kind of medical um, brands out there like that I love like IS Clinical, Skin Cuticles, um, AQ Skin Solutions what are incredible they have what I love kind of amazing growth factors so again it's teaching your skin to heal itself which is unbelievable um, and from there I kind of just also uh, simplified my skincare routine you know before all of this it was a million products and a million different things and trying you know everything to f hoping that something would work and give me the results I desired um, and now I've just learned that a much simpler skincare routine investing in really key amazing products that are going to do the job even if that means you know spending a little bit more um, that is really the the key for for me personally um, so that's kind of you know the crux of it um, in terms of my skincare routine, I really have been through a lot. I've tried so many products that didn't work, some that worked beautifully. And I, I'm a believer in mixing and matching products. I don't, I'm not one of those girls that believe that you need to stick to one brand for your skincare routine because, um, or stick to the same things for that matter, um, because your skin evolves just as you evolve and you change and, you know, the, you go through different um, stages in your life, you go through different emotions, different things happening all the time in your life, your skin changes with you. So just because maybe you had oily skin and you thought you need to use this, doesn't mean that at a different time in your life, your skin's going to be, be a bit more dry or dehydrated and you need to kind of change up your products and mix and match. I mean, I love things from all different brands um, and they work beautifully together. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and ask because that's what this is for. I really want to create a beautiful dialogue. I want to engage with all of you. I want to answer your questions. I want to create a conversation because that's how we create a sisterhood and learn to evolve and grow um, with each other, from each other, for each other. Um, so please leave comments, reach out to me on social media, on Facebook or Instagram. Um, my handle's at Karishma Bazde. And um, 
let's start this conversation let's make magic let's reach out let's help each other um let's grow and and glow <laughs> uh, together and stay tuned and watch out for the other videos which i'll be taking you through my favorite products um how i like to use them why i like to use them and anything else you might like me to talk about comment below and let me know